Do you want to find out how to get your scores on here lower in two minutes? And I'm not talking about using a rubber. Let's find out, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel, and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. Second of all, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. On this channel, I bring you guys daily golf-related content every single day that helps you raise your game, helps you lower your handicap, and hopefully just gets you enjoying golf a ton more. You've joined me on another Two Minute Tuesday, and I'm talking to you about strategy as to how you can lower your scores. Because you see, for me, when I've been playing golf, I've never really ever been under that much pressure to score well. I've never been a full-time player. I would never have called myself a full-time player, but you still get put in positions where you have to go out there and you have to score. The prime example for me was when I took my PGA playing ability test. Now, anybody who's a PGA pro, unless you get down to a very good level, which is scratch, will have to go and take this test, and you are set a score as to what you have to score to get taken on onto the PGA training program. Now, for me, this was something which I had to work pretty hard on because going out there and scoring over 18 holes of golf has never seemed to come that easy for me. Don't get me wrong, I've put subpar rounds together, I've put some pretty good rounds together, but I've also put some terrible rounds together, as I'm sure we all have. Now, I'm going to use two things in this Two Minute Tuesday. I think we might be running out of time, so I'll try and be as quick as I can. I'm going to use a scorecard and a bright pink fuchsia marker pen. Now, you don't have to use a pink marker pen, but... I just like the pinkness of it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna split this 18 hole golf course at fixed bit up into three different courses. Just like this. So guys, as you can see here now, I no longer have an 18 hole golf course. Well, kind of. Now I have a golf course that consists of three lots of six holes. Now a lot of people will split golf courses up into front nine, back nine. I've lost the lid for this, so um, yeah. I've now I've probably lost the pen as well. Now a lot of people will split up a golf course into front nine, back nine, but for me, I always found that I struggled to concentrate for a full nine holes. And Tiger Woods always said he used to set himself a score when he used to go out and play in major championships, and he felt that that score he set on the day would get the job done. So guys, imagine that you are an 18 handicap, okay? And you think that going out there and playing to your 18 handicap will get the job done on the day. So the first lot of six holes, you get six shots. Doesn't matter what you do on the first, doesn't matter what you do on the second, but after the sixth hole, do a little bit of jotting up and work out where you are in relation to that score. Say you're seven over for the first six holes. That's not bad, right? The next lot of six holes, you have five shots. You have to make a par, then make some bogeys, get yourself back on track. Then you come to the business end, you come to the final six holes in your tournament. It may be a Stableford score, it may be a medal score that you're working on, but say you've got those 18 shots and you are 15 over par. All of a sudden, playing six holes with three shots to drop doesn't seem like such a mountain to climb, does it? As opposed to thinking negatively, thinking I've played 12 holes, I've dropped 15 shots, I'm all over the place. So that should help you mentally. It should hopefully help you keep concentration for that 18 hole tournament. And I think we are just about out of time for the Two Minute Tuesday. Guys, that is a brilliant tip that I got from someone when I had to go and put a score together. The playing ability test was actually 36 holes, so I did six, 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 six. <sighs> and it was a long day, but we passed. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, I'm well over that I'm massively over my allotment for Two Minute Tuesday, but I'm kind of my own boss on this channel, so if it runs over, it runs over. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed that video. Hit those comments below. Is this something you may look to adopt? And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. I've honestly got no idea where that lid's gone at all. Under here. Got it.